Hello, welcome to Double Reno Woodworking. So I've got my machine put together and I've got everything but the all the power cords and the electronics and all that stuff hooked up. But I wanted to test something first because I went a different route as far as a monitor for this thing. The Onefinity monitor, the little touch pad, everyone seems to have problems with them. They fall off, lots of issues, and I wanted something bigger too. So I went the route of a actual, this is a television, not a computer monitor. And I'm going to use that as a monitor with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Uh, I've got it. It's a 19-inch Insignia TV. It wasn't expensive or anything. Uh, I've got a just a computer monitor mount. I've got it bolted to the table. As of right now, I've got it in a temporary place. I don't know for sure if that's where it's going to stay. I'm not going to put anything permanently until I get everything hooked up. And then I'll know for sure where I want everything, and then I'll bolt everything down. Uh, it's small enough that it clears my cabinet. It's going to clear the machine when it moves back and forth, so it should work good. So I'm going to reset up and I'll hook it up and we'll see whether it works or not. Okay, so I've already got the TV plugged in and then I've got an HDMI cable coming off of it. So all I'm going to do, HDMI cable off the TV, go into the HDMI cable onto the controller box. And then I got my power cord to my control box, so we'll get that plugged in. And then my USB, I'm sorry, my USB is just a, it's a combination keyboard and mouse off of one USB. And I got that one specifically just to not take up any extra uh, USB ports. So I've got that plugged in. So this should work, that should work. So now we just need to take the TV and put it on HDMI 2 is what I have that hooked up to. So I'll change this to change the input to HDMI 2. All right, so there's no signal, so we're going to turn the controller on and see what happens. And there it is. Looks like it works. At least the monitor shows up off the controller. So we'll let it get finished getting booted up and then we'll see if the, uh, the mouse and the keyboard work. And make sure they're turned on. That's on. That's on. Obviously, I can't do anything with it yet because the wiring's not hooked up to the machine yet. I just wanted to make sure the monitor worked. Well, the mouse works. And let's see, we can move around. Yep, that's coming off the keyboard there. So the mouse and the keyboard both work. I have to do some adjusting on that mouse. It's pretty sensitive. I have to figure out how to adjust the mouse. But So it all works. So... The TV, I can't remember what I paid for the TV. It wasn't very expensive. The keyboard and the, the mouse were not expensive either. And to me, it's just, it's easier to work with. I'd rather use a keyboard and a mouse to work on this thing. Uh, and it's bigger, it's easier to see. And then the other good thing about it is when I'm done, if I want to, I can watch TV on it. I got it hooked up to my wireless internet inside the house, so I can watch TV on it too. So anyway, so it seems to work just fine. Uh, so I guess the next thing I have left to do is just get the wiring hooked up and then get this thing up and running. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.